Okay guys, so yes, this is a video editor. We're not gonna play games for today. So anyways, today, as you can see in the title, I'm going to show you on how how I edit my videos, okay? So starting off, this is VSDC Video Editor. The link to the download is in the description below. Maybe I might put it in the description or sometime, but yeah, the video is first uploaded. Anyways, enough talking of that. You can see all the recent files, right? Like the, my uh, top 7 recent videos. Like, yeah, you can see it here, my cousin is. And yes, today I'm going to be making a blank project. So let's make this a... Uh... So, yes, I got a title. How I edit. Usually, um, uh, uh, let's see. I haven't, like, uh, see the pixels yet. But usually I just go for, um, let's see here. Yes, 1920x or times 1080 pixels, aka 16 by 9 so I can do my end screen. The frame rate is just, yeah, keep it as, as 30 FPS. And yeah, I just press finish once after that. And next off, I add the video. Let's see what video should I add. Well, since uh, I tried out a video but it has errors, we have to do that later, okay? Because I'm going to add a mobile game. So, what I did here is that I searched like uh, some Dragonland episodes. And yes, I found this uh, a few uh, decent episode number. I'm gonna go to episode 27 and I will... Okay, I can't even open it. So basically, I just use another way. So here it is, I press episode 27 of Dragonland, and yes, I just click add new layer when it's the first time, so I just press OK, and there it is! Since it's uh, fully edited, you can just see also the uh, Plants vs Zombies 3 announcement as well, better go check that out, it's important. And yes, remember, I just have a short rewind, and then, and yeah, if I really need to use announcements, I do. Just watch the clip. There we go, I reached it. It's a potion, I thought it's a gem or a key. You see here that it's the announcement, but in a split second, it actually goes to the main video. But anyways, enough of that. Let's just get into the announcement, okay? In his plans, this is obviously, but in the text, it says no longer. Yeah, you can watch it in uh, full. Just go to my videos and then you can find it. And then actually, let's uh, see over here. There we go. The video. A picture pops up. Yeah, of the of the game I'm going to play of the title. And then usually, since this is actually not a new edit, let's go to I think episode thirty. Okay, here we are. So what I did here is just what coin sign and uh, by the way you can actually use the add image so you can add the image and this the uh, split button and uh, first off I split there and then I play back the clip and then I split another one and I deleted the middle one actually just press the video 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 all those stuff and then I just press the X to delete and then there we go now I cut a part so let's get on to the main thing. In Dragonland, like, are there any, like, sunshine here? Let's see if I can uh, find one. Yeah, probably in where my cursor is. I just put here, let's go to video effects, nature, lens, flare. And then I just add the new layer. And it's probably really bright, so this might hurt the eyes. Let me go change the transparency. And there you go. You can actually move it. It's like a sunshine, of course. And it actually holds up light, okay? There's other settings here. I I mostly doesn't... Yes, I mostly not use them. Anyways, let's move on to the next. Here we are at the boss level. Surfing bird, the big blue bird. I mean, big blue penguin. Yeah, the giant one. And as you can see here, those are... I think those are called hexagons. That is... Yeah, shining bokeh glare. So go to nature video effects first and the nature. See the bokeh glare? Click on that and add new layer. And there we go. You got a bokeh glare. 
at the first glance you have you cannot see like yet the circle but when you refresh it like that there you go you can actually see it and yeah it's a circle of hexagons that actually change colors let's look at the clip that glitch for a second first we crack the circle did you see that it changed hexagon colors so anyways let's now move on oh one more thing let's uh yeah so uh, i cannot find that video but this is actually my uh, first death in dragon land just watch the clip and you'll see an edit okay. you see that that glitchy thing that's what i did so usually i probably cut another part in here the dragon land episode it's just the same episode okay or uh, yeah same part anyways how i add the glitch video effects this time special fx and then just glitch it there you go you can actually set whatever timer you want but another tip when that line over there that's where the time you can actually go there and you can align it let's go watch i mean not there platforms that's how the glitch works and anyways okay here's another one plants vs zombies 2 this is actually like a dark ages episode so yeah so yes just look all the sheep will also die as well if you see that blurry thing that's my edit so let's go into another clip here let's see probably here yeah so go to video effects special fx tv and then i just use the random dot stereo or i think that is wrong okay this is the correct one this kind of hurt your eyes so let me change the transparency that's not it and then okay there we go i changed it so anyways you you kind of see the plants and the zombies why do i do this because zombies are close by and if you see like the zombie grows to red and then the uh, power snow power toss and powers up also goes to red that means that i just use that edit L let's go that le yes let's go to that clip again there you you might be blurry to see this just look at my killed, cursor all the sheep will also die as well oh my gosh so if you see where my per yes if you see where my cursor is pointing at those are the things that are glowing in red and that's why i put my random dot stereo like a uh, yeah there up next is Mega Man Power Up, Mega Man Maker, and Mega Man 11. Alright, two yard part three C. Now this is where Iceman comes in. So every Mega Man Power Up video campaign mode, it's a dialogue. Watch. Yes, it also starts with a dialogue. Okay. Let's see at back. Yes, there's also an effect in Iceman stage. The water. So if you go here, nature, you can actually add the water there. And then, yeah, there you go. You can change its transparency if you like to 150. The blob radius, I, and yes, the water settings, I don't use that. I only use the transparency. So, yeah. And then here's the picture. Now let's move on with the transition. So if we see here, let's play the clip. You can actually see a transition over there. And then uh, what this means by that is like uh, like the up and down transition. It actually goes like, yeah, like a up and down. I'll show you the settings first. So go to TV, broken screen. Yes, video effects, special FX, TV, broken screen. And there we go. You can actually set it. It's scrolling step. Yeah, all those stuff. Let's see it again. Okay, that glitched for a second. It's faster than before, okay? It's faster than before. So anyways, now let's move on to the boss door. And then we'll move on to Mega Man 11 or Mega Man Maker. Alright, I found it. Watch. Now here goes the icy fight. 
You can actually see the another transition, but it's a perspective. Go to video effects, transforms, perspective, and there you go. I just mostly put it at 50 of the perspective angle. So yeah, I mostly use that. And then, yeah, the more perspective angle is, the flatter it gets. So anyways, let's remove that perspective. And let's see again. Like, imagine there is actually no perspective. So just watch. Okay, let me see the clip there. Now here goes the icy fight. You see, it just pause a bit and then yeah the dialogue comes up in Mega Man powered up anyways let's move on to more Mega Man so here it is I open up Maple Woman this is uh fully not edited yet but yeah already uploaded it's fully edited so let's see what transition we can get and uh let's see yeah over here and yeah it's the same transition but let's move to a different one okay I found it now watch. Like when you freeze time and even though it's not at the bus door, the same transition to the left and right, it's still there. Now uh, let's go to uh, an edited Mega Man Maker video. So uh, actually this an unedited Mega Man Maker video and it's actually Desert Secret Base, so let's see the clip. Just wait. And that's the uh, original Yes, that's the original transition from the up and down stages. Yeah, the up and down transitions, not stages, from all Mega Man series. So it's not my edit, it's from the game. Now, let's move on to the left and right. I found, yes, I found the clip. And there you go, the original transition for the left and right transitions. Now, uh, yes, you probably know. Mega Man 11 is just the same, so now I'm just gonna move to Mario Kart Tour. Close at the end. Yes, here it is, episode 29. Sorry if I said the wrong number of, of episode apart. Anyways, as you can see now, there is actually... Yes, um, pictures at the left and right side. The left is Mario Kart Tour, and the right is CNS. This also does the same to Plants vs Zombies 3, which I haven't played in a while. So anyways, this is just the same thing. Also, it has some shadows. How do you do shadows? Well, basically, usually I just click the picture, you know. Video, effects, special, nope, not there. Nature, shadow, and there you have it. Now I just need to uh, click it again. And there is a shadow, the video shadow. I'll just delete it. And yes, let's see. Someone has bumped that pumpkin. Too late for me. And you can see over here the uh, yes the picture of the title of the game. It's much smaller. Okay. Now let's uh, move on with like uh, I got hit or something. There, that green shell, like uh, yeah, the further one, not in my back. That's about to hit me. Let's play the clip and see what's my edit. A the sort. So let's go to clip there. Get the video edits transforms again where the perspective is and we move on to the desort add no layer and there you have it desort one my self size can uh, probably like be 30 because yeah when a blue shell hits me that's in 30 and there's one more thing as well which i did for the lightning there you go as you can see let's watch the clip you can see like a plasma the there. and plasma combo. Yeah, you can see actually a plasma. And what I do is video edits, nature, and there's a plasma. It's still there. And that effect plays of illusions. But what I did now is that I just use lens flare. Like a, a really bright lens flare just for a short time. Like there. So... Yeah, it could actually use be as a uh, la is a brighter lightning strike. We have the sword and plasma combo. Yeah, it appears again. Now I think that's it. But all the races have different effects. I won't spoil it to you. Or I won't tell it to you because 
I might not have enough time. Anyways, let's move on to Plants vs Zombies 3. It's just similar to Plants vs Zombies 2. See any differences? There is. In the Plants vs Zombies 3 image, the left one, you can actually see that the image is much so shorter than the Mario Kart toy one. And the CNS just stays the same. Still, as I did not mention in Plants vs Zombies 2, I put the glitch when I started to lose. And yeah, you can probably see in the levels. Let's go find a clip for that. Well, I found a clip. Let's play it. Yep, it did. Usually there was a glitch there, so yeah, like uh, once after, like while the zombies eating and everything, and all of the uh, settings or plants you you're going to plant disappears. There's actually a glitch there, but I just uh, paused the video. So yeah, let's just uh, put a glitch there. Let's just wait and let's put it like uh, right now there. Now let's play the clip. Yeah, I think we're gonna die soon. Yep, we did. And there you go, that's the glitch. Now let's move on to Cuphead, like right now. So basically, um, yeah, I'm not editing that much in Cuphead, but just the number one, one combo of edit. Super. Number one. During a mausoleum battle, or yeah, I probably the ghost in the mausoleum, I put smoke and lens flare. Like a, a low transparency lens flare, or... Half low, half medium, and the uh, low transparency smoke. So, how do you do smoke? Video effects, nature, go to smoke, and add. There you go, a smoke. But, yes, the longer the time of the smoke is, the, yeah, the slower the smoke will move. Now you can see a difference there. So anyways, I think that's just my edit for a uh, carpet multiplayer. And yeah, now it's actually going to the next one, if I think so. Okay, here's another clip in Among Us now. So actually, I think this is where I died. Nope, it's not. So let's find again. Yeah, there. You can see another glitch because I died. Uh. And then yeah, there's an emergency meeting which is... Yeah, I'm not talking about that. It's not important at all. Now, I think the old thing is that uh, when I go here, the victory, and there's many people, or there's just many people when it's uh, the game is ended, there's actually a resample. How do you do that? Well, let's go to another clip there, and then transforms, resample, and then there you go, it's many. And then if the impostor wins, I actually put a fire. So here you go, nature and then fire, and then just wait, how suspicious, and then there's fire. So, and yeah, I believe most of you know Among Us, so I'm just gonna play a clip for those who doesn't know. I found a clip in my latest Among Us videos, but yeah, no Among Us videos, I just don't use that clip anymore. So here's the defeat, I just put nature and then, yes, fire, and you can see it again, yes, I think... I, uh, and there you go, uh, you, saw you saw the fire. Now in uh, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, I don't use a lot of transitions there or any effects. Let's go delete that, the fire, and then uh, probably in all of my videos, in most videos, I use a text about, yeah, just, yeah, just uh, some missing things or corrections or all those stuff, or maybe any fun moments. Just I just cut it like in the bottom and then... I use like the font there, I put it always in the middle, let's go. Yeah, I'm just gonna use like a 14 and then white, and then I can move the text there. And let's say, hello. It's, it's kinda low, but you can actually see it. Let's uh, put it to 32, and then, and you can just like white spot there. And there, it's just there. Now... Vlogs also, um, there's actually just uh, one difference. Both left and right rectangles, those are just all plain beige, okay? And also, some of my videos have seam colors as well. I, I also forgot Overcooked 2 in Minecraft, so let's do that now. Alright, in Overcooked 2, I just sometimes don't use that much effects. 
But anyways, it just still looks, yes, it still looks decent, okay? Sometimes I put rectangles, insert new layer, or add new layer, and then I can just crop the rectangles in any way, like, just to block something or do something for fun. Sometimes they even add pictures so they can know what is that or whatever. And let's move on to the last video, which is, yeah, the last series of episodes, which is Minecraft. So basically, again, just as you must overcook 2 in Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, Minecraft doesn't have a lot of edits that, that I need to do. Just add textures and all those stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's just it. You know that? So please like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. Comment down below what did I miss. And now I'm going to see you in the next video. I hope you understand my edit. So, yeah. Bye, guys.